Oh, hello everyone. This is Braxis here, and I'm being aided by my friend Kool Aid, and we are just doing a quick little uh, demonstration on how the mountain source ring works. Uh, the only way that you saw this uh, YouTube link is actually through the vignette you see before you, so we're going to make this nice, quick, and simple. So, Kool Aid, could you go over to the table and pick the up the mountain ring for us? Oh yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so what has happened here is I've created four rings that are they're direct descendant rings that give you source ability powers because you are a Seraphim Sanctum, which of course you know by now because you've read this through the vignettes. However, these three source rings, Shadow, Storm, and Ember, all have different source abilities, and we made the Mountain Ring have the Source Dome ability, which means there's only one character that can cast Source Dome in this entire campaign, and that's whoever chooses to use the Mountain Ring. But, as you know, every character when loading into a Divinity 2 campaign comes preloaded with Source Dome. So, the steps are, as you're going to see, right click the character, you select Manage, you get to their character sheet here. You're going to go all the way over to their Skills book. Now on everyone else in the party, you're going to take Source Dome of Protection, and you're going to click this X. It's going to remove it from their... Uh, spell book and then they're not going to be able to use it anymore. Only the person that's using the mountain ring will. So if I get you to equip this ring real quick here, Kool-Aid. There it is. And this is how you assign it to the ring. So you already have the skill book open on the left. You now right click the mountain ring, select manage, and you go to its skill book. Slide it over here and then you simply just drag Dome of Protection onto the ring. It's removed it off the skill book. It is now assigned to the ring. And this character is the only one that can cast Doma Protection in Seraphim Sanctum. Thanks for watching.